Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just decolonize you. Okay, I'm going to be talking about herd immunity. Ironically, this period of social distancing and self-isolation, rather than being solitary, has led to an intrusion of mass uninvited mail, video messages and posts, everyone vying for attention, and just a few seconds to influence our thinking and sway us to thinking their thoughts. Why the noise and clamor for space in our already crowded heads? Why the incessant competition for attention? Never has social media seemed such a nuisance. It's against this backdrop that I lodge this warning. Beware herd mentality. We must fight to hear ourselves think and to determine what we're convinced about. Herd mentality is a reflex whereby we resend, like or allow to have sway in our minds the thoughts and opinions of others without first interrogating them to determine their value. I believe that it is this follow follow to use Nigerian speak that has retarded our growth in nationhood here in Nigeria. This preference to dobale before a mentee or to rush to seek covering beneath an intermediary, rather than to think and speak for ourselves, we would rather let others speak for us even when they're compromising our voice and integrity. At this time, the world is faced with a pandemic which has brought up the concept of herd immunity. This happens when enough people are exposed and build up a resistance to the virus in an organic way. I want to use this concept in a creative way. So I recommend that what is needed now is an individual immunity to herd mentality, immunity from the herd influence. Therefore, we each need to develop herd immunity, I hope you get that, such that you and I can be in the midst of a group but still maintain the veracity of our unique voice. This not only ensures that we bring something authentic to the whole, but keeps the whole sincere in its mission, through interrogation and dialogue. To do that, we must first make time to reflect and develop our own thinking. We need to ask ourselves questions. Why do I believe what I believe? Rather than running away from our own shadow and seeking solace in the crowd. As one maverick thinker once said, the greatest threat to freedom is the absence of criticism. I agree. I think I agree with that. Um, first and foremost, I okay. would say that for some time now, I have tried um, to stay away from, um, I've maintained social distance. And then, um, so my social distancing also includes um, you know, um, online platforms. <laughs> well done to you. <laughs> yeah, because um, you find out that everybody has something to say. Mm. Uh, this is the time where news, uh, you know, are no longer verified. Uh, people just push it down to you. You keep your phone for, let's say, 10 minutes. The next thing you come, you get about 100 and something That's messages. Right. Um, and, you, you know, so sometimes the messages are so conflicted. Some, some of them outright... Um, mischievous and then the person is asking you please can you confirm this <laughs> you, you know so so what like i do they can't think for themselves yeah I, I i i i they know that this news but so as not to be seen to be peddly fake news you okay. say so please confirm okay, okay. you know <laughs> and, and so i try as much as i can and everybody also seems to have a cure you know, apart from those who are saddled with the responsibility, almost everybody seems to have a cure. And almost every, a lot of people also in Nigeria seems to know the problem. Mm -hmm. Some will tell it's malaria, Jesus, or just come on, malaria. Mm -hmm. You know, and all of So um, that's why I agree with you that in all of this, we should maintain, not just maintain your sanity, also, you know, stand out from, from, from the crowd. But it's always very difficult to stand out at times like this um, because of so, so, so many reasons. One being that um, you can be overwhelmed with what is happening around you. I almost got overwhelmed too, but you know, 
I, I still maintain and I insist that I would try as much as I can, you know, to stand up. Let me say that I think that, um, you know, this is the, we've often talked about this thing, uh, the confluence of technology uh, in the mobile phone, giving everybody a voice and everybody wants to be heard mm -hmm. and broadcast, uh, platform. And broadcast mm -hmm. you know. I mean, personally, I've had to remove myself from so many groups. groups. Correct move. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, for me personally, I'm not a person. I, I, maybe even in our own group, you notice I'm not a yep, an active uh, yeah, member. I prefer one-on-one -on -one communication. Yes. Um, you know, because uh, a lot of people, when I remove myself from my old school groups, ah, Mika, why did you? I'm like, it's too much information. Mm. I wake up, you know, this, uh, this person said this, oh, this person is dying, or this information. I can't deal with that. Um, so I've had to take myself off. Um, also because you have to make that effort on a personal level, as, as, as liberals have said, to, to either limit your, the access to the information you have yeah. or limit yourself from being even where those information are shared. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because otherwise you get drowned in, in that information. And, and this thing you talked about, herd immunity, and, mm. and it's not, so this is, for me, um, it's like being a leader, having you know people psychophants around him. Mm. Even yeah. the best of leader, mm. if yes. he hears every Mikhail morning, Ray. "Oh, you are, so you are excellent, you're excellent, you're <laughs> excellent," he is going to be infected by that, yeah. by that noise. Yeah. No matter how good that person is, so you have to be deliberate in choosing the kind of people around you. Mm -hmm. You know, um, otherwise, y y even your own voice will be drowned out. You'll yes. find that the more you, you hear, you won't discover your. You, won't discover you your will wear yeah. out, you'll yeah. burn out. Yeah. Because in some situations, you are, you are trying too hard to make people see reasons why yeah. they shouldn't do what they are doing. Mm. It's like you are the lone voice. And in the no, but environment. You're the opposite, if I get him right. Like if you don't get people who are clashing with you from time to time, and everybody is saying, Ogasa, oh, well done, I agree with no, you. Well, that's what you I'm, will lose your No, that's why I'm coming to mm. a situation where you are in an environment where you are the lone voice, mm. trying to tell them, make them understand that, no, I am not the spirit that you think I am. But, ah, oh, no, Oga, without you, okay. this country can't move yeah. forward. Yeah. Oh, I see. Without you, okay. things yeah. cannot be like this. Mm. Thank God so for you. you. Yeah. Thank God for bringing somebody like mm -hmm. you. So when they praise worship you like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. it gets to it's a point when somebody now comes to challenge you. You think they're the enemy. You think he's the Straight, enemy. Yeah. You, and you know, and, and so they will also say that that person, that person you know, to, to, to use your analogy of a herd, like yes. a virus, they will, yes. they will form an attack and attack that exactly. person. The, the antibody. Say, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and now you see, and you see everybody that seems to be is creating a, is a virus. Yes. Yeah. Everybody seems to be creating group. And if you belong to about 10 platforms, mm -hmm. there is one information, maybe yeah. a Bola Metinubu issued, a, a, or somebody issued a letter mm -hmm. in his name. And then... Okay. Because it resonates with, you know, the people, mm. you find out that more than 10 people will share that document yes. in those 10 platforms, yes. 10 different yes. times, not minding you whether you belong, it, yeah. and whether you belong. Mm. and then you find out when somebody now comes to say, no, this didn't come ah. from this leader, mm. nobody took time to verify. Okay. You know, but be, since it resonated, that's why some people can even mischievously create a, a letter, put a Kenes name there because mm. a yeah. Kenes somebody. Sell market. Yes. <laughs> that if you're not careful, you find yourself, you know, and then you find yourself drowned in, in that, in the mm -hmm. mix. The I'm reason I'm time. very passionate about this advocacy is that I've always loved when I come into a group and I hear dissenting voices. I find it refreshing. You know, even when the person is being rude. I find it refreshing because I think for you to say we're singing in can soprano I, and I someone tell, sings in alto, can I, tell you guys I like it. A small story, okay, uh, but very important. But I, story. I notice it's not very popular um, in, in my in people. my public life. I used to have this woman who was my director in Lagos when I was heading the uh, uh, female agency, female censorship board. Bless her, she's late now. Um, she was an assistant director, um, and then in in meetings, staff meetings, everyone was, I, I, I come up with a, some policy, some ideas. Ah, yes, sir, DG, da 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 da. And then she would say, hmm, 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 did you? I'm not interested, it's not true. You know, <laughs> she was, and you know, because she was an assistant director, the director was like, no, this, 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 you're talking to the DGs. And she said, no, no, sir, they won't tell you the truth, I'll tell you the truth. Uh -huh. But everybody would crowd her, on her. And, but I gave her the space to be able to give me information yeah. that was actually very vital. And I found that over time, her 
you know, her opinions was more important spot to on. me, was yeah. spot on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, just as we provide constructive criticism through our advocacy, so we rely on your feedback to offer the same for us. On the matter of returning Nigerians behaving badly, Eseka Chinyam says, but through this time of lockdown, Nigerian police, they're doing anyhow. On COVID-19 and leadership, Kinsley Mwigwe says, the travails of an Igbo man in Nigeria, none of us were given the opportunity to choose exactly which tribe or race he or she would like to be born into. However, I was born an Igbo man, and I have no regret or apology to, tender, to render to anyone over my identity. Well, Kinsley, we're glad you're Igbo and proud, but uh, let's make our various identities work positively for us and for Nigeria. Kemuel W says, the middle class in Nigeria has been reduced to TV hosts and talk shows only. Instead of them to take the front stage of protest against the irregularities and government impunity, they're waiting for the uneducated poor masses. Shame on all of you. Kemuel W, I assume you're referring to us. However, whether you agree or not, talk will always be part and parcel of protest, so keep watching. Okay, thank you for your feedback. Do keep your comments coming in on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. After the break, Uche speaks of a matter of advocacy that points to when the rubber hits the road. Stay tuned. <laughs> 